Can you believe there are still people in this modern day and age who still don't want, refuse to live with their partner before they get married? Is that even a thing? Like, why? And it's not just religious people. I mean, there are a lot of atheists who don't think it's a good idea to live with your partner before you get married. I don't think it's a good idea to live with your partner. To, I don't think it's a good idea to marry somebody that you haven't lived with for at least a couple of years. Like me, I don't believe in marriage. I don't ever want to get married. Not, and it's just because I don't think I should have to go sign a stupid piece of paper to tell the government to the government to prove that I love you. It means nothing. I mean, is it is it something I'd be willing to do for the right person? Sure, because I can get a tax break. Because you know, we can get we can save money on sure insurance and shit. But you know, and also more than anything else, it would shut you up. Other than that, I have no reason to ever want to get married. It really means nothing. It changes nothing. It will not change how I feel about the, about the relationship. It won't change how I feel about you. It's just a fucking word. It's just letters on a piece of paper. It's just a useless piece of metal on your finger. It means nothing. But, for those of you who apparently claim it means something, then you're going about it all wrong. A lot of people just assume that when you put a ring on your finger, it's just magically going to last forever. But marriage, relationships in general, they just take a lot of hard work. Do you realize how long forever is? Especially for people in their 20s and stuff, you're going to live, most of you are going to live at least 50 more years, probably. I mean, we don't know for sure. But there's a lot of 20-year-olds in the world, and I'd say at least 70% of them are going to live at least 50 more years. So, that's a lot of life to live. And, you know, if you can't spend two years alone, if you can't spend two years living with someone, how do you expect to survive ten? That's what I don't get, because, you know, there's one person, not going to say any names, who was like, I learned the hard way that you shouldn't live with somebody before you get married. Like... What the fuck do you mean? I mean, that's exactly why you should live with someone before you get married. Because you know what? If you can't stand living with them before marriage, you're not going to be able to stand living with them with marriage. You're either going to end up stuck in a very long relationship, which is going to end very messy and an expensive and painful divorce, or you're going to end up in a stuck for the rest of your life tied down to someone who you not, don't really want, who you don't really love, who you don't really fit with. I mean, that, that's the exact reason why you have to know beforehand what exactly you're actually getting into before you pledge the rest of your life to somebody else. If this does really mean something to you, it means nothing to me, but even I know I'm never getting married to someone I haven't lived with. And so for, if it actually means something to you, you need to take a lot more caution beforehand because... Ah, uh, people just don't really, I mean, just look at the life. Um, th this is, this is real life. This is the real world. This isn't some fairy tale bullshit happily ever after crap. Shit happens. Look at the divorce rate in our country. That's the, you know, marriage really means nothing. They fall apart all the time. And half the time it's because of idiots like you making dumb decisions like this. I mean, me personally, my rule is like five years, but that's just my own personal thing. I feel it should be a required minimum in most stable, healthy, long-term, lasting relationships. Date each other for at least two years be, uh, to know that you actually not only like this person and have a chance to fall in love with them, because, you know, it could be love at first sight, or it could be something that happens down the road, but let, listen, it can fade away over time. That's why I take a few years to make sure it doesn't fade away. And when it do doesn't fade away, then live with each other. Take a few more years to make sure it doesn't fade away still. Because the more you le learn about people, the more you're going to realize they're a human being with all kinds of faults. That, I just, it just baffles me that there are so many people in the world who are just so stupid. It's just simple planning and precautions. You know, it's, it's life. Shit happens. Nothing's ever perfect, and it's never going to be. But at least plan ahead and avoid the strife. I'm just... Uh, oh, my... I, just, I can't even... People are so stupid. Just I just... I don't get it. I don't understand you humans. See, this is why I don't like to consider myself a human being. Because some of the things that a lot of human beings just seem to naturally know for a fact, and this is just how the world works, I just can never grasp my head around it. I just, it makes no sense to me. I don't understand why you think this is the smarter choice. I just don't get it. 
Everyone who's watching this video, please, for the love of God, tell me you at least understand what I'm saying and that you agree with me. Because I just, I need to be reassured that, the, that more than 50% of the world is not complete and total idiots. Because right now, I feel like it's about 50-50. Got half, you got 7 billion people in the world, and like, you know, 3.5 billion of them are total idiots, and the other 3.5 billion, I'm just not 100% sure about yet. I need someone to prove me wrong. 